Number 23. What force does the nail puller in exercise 9.19 exert on the supporting surface? The nail puller has a mass of 2.1 kilograms. All right, so you might have to reference uh, number 19 in this chapter. Uh, however, I'll give you the important uh, information here as well. So the uh, basically we're trying to find the force that the nail puller exerts on the supporting surface. So that is the force right here at this particular location. Okay. Um, now, if we think about the types of forces uh, in this problem, uh, we do have uh, three types of forces. We have the input force of the hand, right, pushing down. Now, that force uh, was given, or actually, I don't think it was given. I think we calculated it. It was 50 newtons, all right? The uh, output force uh, was, I think it was 1250, if I remember correctly. So that was also pointing up. Okay, and then there's now also, and that's in terms of Newtons, and now they also gave us the mass of the nail puller. So that mass uh, is right experiencing the force due to gravity, and therefore it has a certain weight to it, and that weight will also be pointing down. So let's just calculate that quickly. We'll do 2.1 times 9.8. So the weight of the nail puller is about 20.58. So I'll just write the whole value here, 20.58. Okay, Newtons. Uh, so now, if we're trying to find now the uh, force that the nail puller is, ex is exerting on the surface, okay, we have to take these three forces into account. So what you might do here is you might say, well, okay, great. All I got to do is this force is pointing up. These two are pointing down. So basically just take this and then subtract these two out. Uh, that would actually lead to the incorrect answer. Uh, the reason why is because we have to really think about the direction of this particular force, okay? Now remember, we're trying to find the uh, force that the nail puller exerts on this supporting surface here, okay? And therefore, we are concerned about forces acting on the surface, uh, not by the surface, right? So what are the forces acting on this particular surface? Well, again, it's going to be the force downward of the 50 newtons, the weight of the nail puller, and then actually the reaction force here of the uh, output force. Now that reaction force is actually going to be pointing downward, okay? And if you think about it, that should, that should make sense there, right? In order, in order for this force to be pointing upwards, all right, this force pointing upwards basically is the force that the surface here is pointing upward, all right, on that nail, okay? So uh, the surface is pointing the, I should say the force that the surface ex is exerting is pointing upward, and then therefore the force, the output force here is actually being down, directed downward here at that particular fulcrum location. So basically what we have to do is just turn this arrow upside down. Oops. Just turn this arrow upside down. Okay. So it's just going to go downward. Okay. So now all I have to do is basically just sum everything up, right? So the sum of the forces here are going to equal um, 50 newtons. They're, these are all pointing downward, right? So I can just add them all up 20.5 20.58 and then 1250 and after we add them all together we just get an answer of 1320 newtons that would be now the force that the that the nail puller is exerting on the surface all right guys thanks for tuning in please remember to subscribe and I look forward to helping you with the next question have a great day